Hey, yay, YouTubers! Tazman here, and I'm bringing you another episode of Minecraft from the Ground Up 1.8 tutorial. And bam, uh, I'm gonna reset the sun because I want each day to be a full day, and I want my uh, time to be right. So, uh, so we actually used 20 minutes. I just had to stop my clock real quick. But I'm going to reset the sun each episode. Uh, hopefully it's only going to change it by a few minutes. But this is mostly just so we can uh, make sure our episodes are the right length. And we have enough time to do what we need to. So slash time. Oh, time. Set zero. So we put the sun back. Alright, so uh, in our last episode we met some of our other mobs. I think we almost met all the overworld mobs, which is where we are. Uh, one thing I wanted to do is, I think it was over here. Yes, it is over here. These are our other two stones right here. We have granite, which is this red one. And we're going to grab four of those. And we have this uh, diorite. Now, there are crafting recipes, but we don't have the stuff for making this yet. Um, so I, I will show that when we get to that part of the game when we actually oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that guy I thought I was gonna kill a chicken turned into a creeper <laughs> jeez jerk okay now I'm gonna kill oh there's a cave down here maybe we'll go in there uh yeah so anyway uh let me do this real quick um what was I saying uh, yeah, there's recipes for those, but we don't have the stuff. So I'm going to go grab one more of each of them real quick. One, just so we can see. Oh, and there went my pickaxe. All right, so as you see here, we have the granite, which is it looks a lot like the andesite. And we have the diorite. And as I said in the previous episode, just like the andesite, uh, you can do the polished, and it's a one-to-one, -one, so you use four of these, you get four polished back, so it's pretty good. And as you see, very, very nice. These are definitely decoration blocks. They really don't have any other use in the game other than to look very nice, and they do. So uh, I'm not going to carry these around because I don't want all this extra luggage. And is that I don't care about, that don't care about. Um, did we talk about, yeah, we talked about creepers dropping gunpowder. All right, so we're going to go check out, see if this is actually a cave. Now, Minecraft worlds generate with lots of caves, and caves sometimes, well, they always lead to adventure if it's a real cave. If it's not a real cave, then it leads to a dead end. But, uh... Let's go check out where this goes. All right, so we're down three meat pops, so let's go ahead and eat a piece of chicken and heal all up. Uh, got some more coal. Now, generally, when I'm caving, I'll run past a lot of my uh, ores that I'm going to get, but that's just to make sure it's safe up ahead. And we need to do that, and we need to make some more torches. And we're going to need some more wood. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Let's just check out where this cave leads. See if it actually goes down anywhere. It doesn't look like it. Oh, whoop. Actually, maybe so. Goes this way now. And it goes to the outside. Which is, oh, hey, we found a plane and some. Oh, good, good, good. We want that. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this coal, because coal is invaluable. Uh, if we see any other ores, which I don't, generally uh, you, up on the surface type caves you'll find iron. You won't find gold or uh, diamond. Diamond's down, it's pretty low, I can't remember the exact number. Usually you want to be about, uh, the lowest is probably about 11 on the Y. And, let me show you how you tell all that. Let's actually let's take a minute and learn a new thing. Da, 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 da. Uh, let me just grab this stuff real quick. Make sure nothing's coming. All right. So what we're gonna learn right now is a little something called 
the debug screen. If you press F3, I might have went over this. I no, I don't think I went over the debug screen, did I? <laughs> Hard to keep track of everything I've gone over. Um, all right, so the debug screen, if you press F3, looks just like this. And you can get information from items you're looking at over here on the side. You can see we're looking at a Minecraft colon torch and it's facing as west, which means I must be facing east, right? So the main things you want to keep track of on this is the following. Oh, wrong button. Uh, this is your frames, frames per second. Uh, you probably, if you're recording, you want 60 or more. Uh, this is how smooth your game will flow. Uh, the next one that I use a lot would be the E. This is entities. Uh, as you can see, there's 107, 108 in the world. Zero are directly in front of me. Uh, and that includes through the walls, through the chunks that are loaded. Uh, if I throw something, like my pickaxe, this next one I want to throw. Uh, yeah, I'll throw, I'll throw some cobble. Now you see there's one entity, two entities, three entities. And one nice thing is if you get too many entities, it starts lagging your game. So they made it so entities like these will join together. So as you can see, it says three, four, five, and now it went back to four because those two joined. Let's see if we can get those joined. Oh, right there. So as you can see, uh, they're joining together, which helps uh, the game a bit. So that's your entities. That can be mobs, that could be anything in the game. If we go this way, remember there were some chickens up there, so there's, it could be an egg, maybe some chickens. It says three, two, one, zero. So there's zero in front of us. All right, the next thing we wanna look at is this section right down below. This is your X, Y, Z coordinates. So this is your horizontal, which is X, your vertical, which is Y, and, or not your vertical, Oh, no, no, that's right. Vertical and then your depth or your other plane. So here, if you look at this little guy in the middle, this represents X, Y, and Z. As you can see, there's a little, uh, right, oh, can I get to you? So the blue is your, oh, I can't remember. I think one of these is X. I think red is X, blue is Z, and uh, up down, the green is your Y, I think. Let's check. So we're going this way. Let's see if our Z is the one that's changing. Yep, so as you can see, X is staying at 190. Z is 262, 265, 270. So that's our, our changing there. All right, then the next thing we have is chunk information. Uh, not too important for survival and stuff. Uh, the facing is definitely a good one to have. It tells me that I'm facing south uh, towards positive Z, so I'm, uh, a lot of people have trouble going, oh, now wave, so if I go this way, and they have to take a couple steps and say, okay, let's see, so Z is going up, so now Z is positive, if we go this way, okay, so this way is X is positive, this is Z is positive, this would be the negatives, right? So anyway, that's what that does for you, it gives you that little bit of information. Uh, the next piece is the biome and as you can see we're in a birch forest hills this m means it's more of a rare one it's uh oh, i don't remember what the m actually stands for but uh it's a birch forest and this means i, I believe it means it's a rare type of birch forest so it's it might have more hills and stuff in it than a standard birch forest uh, then we have lighting, and this is the one that's really important. Right now we're underground, so obviously we can't see the sky, and therefore sky is zero. There's no sun coming from the sky. However, block lighting is nine, and that's because we're near a torch. If we go near this torch over here, you'll see it gets higher and higher until we're right on top of the torch. Uh, and the highest it goes is 15. If we actually had a torch on the ground, which is where it's doing it from, or 14. Yeah. Is it eyes that is? Yeah, I think it's 14. Uh, so as you can see, it shows that we're 14 here. If we take that up, here it's 13. So uh, lighting is from the ground. So if we were doing a check to see where could mobs start spawning, 
we come from this light here and we could see light is at 11 10 9 8 and right here mobs can spawn if I'm 23 blocks away mobs will not spawn unless it's a spawner and we'll go over those later within 23 blocks of you so if I went 23 blocks away from here came back there is a chance that right here mobs could have started spawning so you can light that up and then just keep walking here's another seven so light that up so you can light up your areas to make sure uh, everything's safe now uh, we're gonna go uh, here we have Minecraft Cold War um, the next thing uh, tells us uh, the difficulty this I don't know if it's completely been implemented in the game but uh, uh, what it was is it was supposed to be that the longer you stay in an area the harder it gets um, so mob damage actually goes up slightly so if you're playing on hard uh, it even gets a little bit harder if you're playing on easy and you live in the same place for ever and ever you might end up moving to where it's automatically turned to a difficulty of medium or normal I guess that really isn't a medium <laughs> so uh, that is what those things are and then the very bottom one right here is looking at it's telling me the actual location of the block right now I'm looking at variant stone or I'm looking at Minecraft stone and its variant is stone uh, it could also be stone brick or something else which we'll go over later or cobble I think cobble is its own uh, thing so here's andesite it's a Minecraft stone so it is a variant of stone uh, and then that's variant of stone oh man it's already night yes because it's 10 <laughs> or 10 minutes in all right so we're actually gonna go out tonight we're gonna go check out this area over here see if we can find some more mobs uh, mob types actually that's a roof forest oh look we got our next guy wait no we we saw bunnies before let's kill some bunnies we need some rabbit fur and another one all right if you're squeamish you can look away <laughs> okay so here we are now if you look at the thing it says biomes we're in planes and we got a, a zombie coming at us now over on the uh, right side I guess I didn't really cover much of that oh, it is some of these guys this is gonna be kind of hard because we're gonna be attacked the whole time all right let's see we clear 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 okay we're clear Alright, so over here on this other side, it tells you your Java version, whether it's 32, 64-bit, how much memory you're using, and how much you have allocated. So of uh, 2 gigs of RAM, we're only using about uh, 400 megs, or 17%. Uh, and then, of course, you're allocated down here. Uh, then we also have display information, more for troubleshooting, and, you know, if someone says, oh, what's your Minecraft running at or something like that this is my graphics card and the version and stuff like that so handy stuff um, but usually I don't play with that on very much let's go do a little exploring at night wait are you going down oh no it's just rising all right so uh, over here we have a nice little skeleton I'm gonna see what we'd really like to find is Rabbit. We need more food, so normally uh, we would be nice to rabbits. Come here, stop popping! <laughs> Jeez. And sometimes, I'm not sure if that's meant in the game or not, but sometimes when you're hitting a zombie and stuff, you actually cause them to pause. Oh! Oh, one other thing about zombies is uh, there's two variants, or three variants, I guess, because we talked about baby zombies, big zombies, ouch, and uh, the other type of zombie is actually a zombie villager. Now, we haven't seen any of those yet. They usually look like a green villager, and we haven't even seen a villager, so when we come to that, we'll, I'll point it out. Uh, I'm there. I don't know. 
I feel kind of bad killing these. Oh, here's a creeper. Killing the poor little rabbits, but we do need food. We got any ores? Oh, I hear a spider. Alright, so right now we're just kind of having more fun. We're, we're experiencing the nighttime. Generally, you don't want to experience the nighttime when you have absolutely no armor on. And as you can see, we have no armor on. Our sword's about to break, so we might hurry and try and make a new one. I hear a skeleton. Alright, let's try and throw down our crafting table real quick. We're gonna make us a, a new sword and take our crafting bench, work table, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, I call it many different things at the same time. So, oh, there's some iron right there. Nice. All right, so we're gonna come on down here. We're just gonna make sure it's. XP. Oh, there's our spider. And he's not happy because of the lighting level. Now, like I said, during the day, spiders do turn docile. However, not 100%. Sometimes they act like they're peaceful and docile. And they come up and smack you, bite you a couple times. Um, so, I usually just get rid of spiders. Okay, nothing up there. Oh, skeleton. Did he see us? No, I don't think he saw us. Alright, so let's go ahead. And we're going to go grab that iron. Oh, there's a ton of iron down here. Okay, so this right here is iron. Now, when you break it... I hear something. When you break it, you get an iron ore block. And you can't do anything really with an iron ore block. You could build, I guess, with it. But uh, it's much better to uh, turn it into actual iron. And you do that by smelting it, which we will do. I'm just going to come down here a little ways. Good, nothing can get us, so we're good back there. If we keep that way, we should be able to see anything coming after us. Uh, iron usually spawns in anywhere from one to about nine uh, nine blocks that you can get actually this one looks like it was ten it might have been one two things we're gonna fill this in just so we can move we should be getting pretty close to day and it's also a good idea sometimes if you look like that was just one Oh, I gotta sneeze. Whoo! Uh, sometimes it's a good idea just to check the blocks around it, because uh, sometimes that might have been one that was kitty corner of a small vein. So it's handy to check that. Uh, let's go ahead. We have 13 iron. We're gonna be a little wasteful because there was coal down there. We're gonna go ahead and use two coal, which will cook up. 16 and that will make us some iron ingots now we can do lots and lots of stuff with iron we can make iron tools iron armor uh, we can uh, make iron blocks and we'll go over iron blocks probably later um, and the nice thing is iron of course we, we talked about wood tools and stone tools Iron tools will do the job faster than than their counterpart, which is the stone tools. And then, of course, gold will do faster than iron. However, one thing with gold tools and gold armor, it is stronger, but it uh, it's softer, so they actually uh, degrade a lot faster. So we got oh oh more iron, sweet. Maybe we can hurry and go throw that in the furnace and waste even less fuel. Uh, nothing. Nope, nothing. And I don't know if I can reach this stuff. I think it's... Nah, it's just falling down. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead, head back. Oh, head back over. Looks like it's almost daytime, and we can still throw in where they go too. So that's 1415. So now we're only gonna waste one of our fuel units, if you want to call it that. All right. So one thing that's really handy uh, to make with your iron right away. That actually, there's two things. One I usually make is an iron pickaxe because you can't get gold, you can't get uh, diamonds without an iron pickaxe. So an iron pickaxe becomes very, very pivotal and necessary. Look at that, we have a full stack of that. We have, we only got three rabbits? I could swear we killed more than that. Oh, there's a zombie up there. He didn't see us. And he's dead. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw down our workbench real quick. So uh, you make an iron pickaxe just like you do everything, every other pickaxe, just like so. And I usually keep mine right here. I only use this once I have boatloads of iron, then I switch over to iron everything. The other thing, it's very useful to have an iron sword, which is much better than a stone one. And we're gonna go ahead and merge these two. Um, if I had two weak swords or two used up swords that were half each, you could actually put them together and get one full. I just don't want to end up picking that back up if I throw it on the ground, so I just merged them together. Basically, I threw away the one. All right, uh, the other thing I like to get is a bucket. And a bucket is simply uh, this little V shape, and this is for hauling water. The other thing uh, you might have noticed is there is shears. Uh, we haven't seen any sheep yet, so we don't need shears. As you can see, this is just two iron ingots diagonal from each other, uh, but uh, we're not going to make it. And it is shapeless, so you can actually, you can't put them directly above, but it has to be diagonal. The last one we're going to talk about uh, with iron ingots is you can make a lighter, and this can be handy for catching things on fire. If you hit a creeper with a lighter, it will automatically catch them on, it'll automatically force them to explode, so that can be kind of handy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, put this stuff away. We're gonna grab our furnace, which gave us our last iron, I forgot to grab it. That's the nice thing, if you break your furnace with something in it, it will give you back your items. If they weren't done cooking, it doesn't cook it for you. All right, so we're gonna go up, up here, back above ground, whoop, over this side, and kill us another chicken, and some grass. All right, guys, looks like we are at our 20 minute mark, which is a full day. I think I like the way I'm doing this. However, we went a little bit over, so I will reset the sun for the next episode when we get on it. Ooh, go get skeletons drops. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. It helps me so much on YouTube and it will help me get more recognition if you don't tell all your friends and family and stuff to check out my channel and sub. Uh, it makes it so in searching and stuff. It's more likely that good old Tasman comes up. So anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Oh, there was one other thing I keep forgetting, but we'll cover it next time. Until next time, guys, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.